at the Tuna Melts My Heart Tuna Tour event in New York City, sponsored by BarkBox at the Bark and, Q, Bark and Co. HQ. Let's go try and see if we can get some insight into what's going on here today. What is your name? Where are you from? You know, just these dogs are posh drunk here. It's so important seeing a celebrity, they just go crazy. What brings you out here today? <laughs> I love, love the harness. You know, fashion in New York City is just incredible here. As a celebrity pup on the rise, what would you say is the hardest part of trying to make it in the big city? <laughs> Hi. All right, I think those are all the answers we need here. Panda, so how long have you been at BarkBox? Excellent answer. Hamilton, I'm a huge fan of your work. Can you let me know a little bit about how you became such a celebrity around the city? Excuse me, excuse me, what is your name? My name is Siggy. Siggy, it's awesome to meet you. It looks like you just sneezed on my hand. Excuse me, what is your name? What is your story? Wow, the celebrity life brings a lot of plastic surgery. I think it's important to note that Every dog is beautiful, and just because you're a celebrity doesn't mean that you have to change your body. The mood here is just electric right now. It feels like we're at the dog park and someone just dropped off 200 tennis balls. So what's your name? Where are you from? So I see that you're wearing a tuxedo to this event. Um, I'm wondering if you can comment on the oligarchy of the 1% and how 1% of treats in this country are controlled by 5% of dogs and the rest of the dogs are eating table scraps. Let's talk about your father. Do you hold any resentment towards him? Tuna, I know this is stressful for you, but please take a seat. You know, these tough questions, sometimes dogs just can't answer them. How has Tuna inspired you as a fellow dog? <laughs> so, rhinestone collar, dancing, what is your profession? You gotta work your way through med school somehow, right? So, there's policy going through Congress right now that would require dogs to do tricks for their treats. Do you agree with that, or do you believe that there are dogs in America that might not be able to do tricks but still deserve treats. Doesn't want to commit to any specific public policy issue. How has Tuna melted your mom's heart? <laughs> With his goofy face and his underbite and his wrinkly neck. Give us your best Tuna impression. <laughs> As a mixed race dog living in America, how has the election of Obama impacted your status? Do you feel that we live in a post-species America? No comment. The shrivel neck. Have you ever thought of plastic surgery? Good answer, Tina. <laughs> Red wine, old ladies everywhere. It's crazy. I haven't seen a party like this since my frat in college. <laughs> 